Some schools in Minot are not only helping students build their minds, they're also helping them build homes in the community. Crystal Qual brings us inside the hands-on trade projects at Magic City Campus. The house behind Magic City High School campus was built on the school's premises. They build homes on site. A construction tech to student, Seth Hughes, says before they got to work, this spot was just a parking lot. We started last year in January. So about once a week we had a shovel, like two feet of snow out of there every single week. Building trades instructor at Minot Public Schools, Nick Ziegler says students building new homes is nothing new. In the past, Minot Public School built off site at the house's actual location. There's a process to it and once you've learned the process it it uh, is less of a daunting task than it seems. I mean, a house is a big, big thing. Last school year, Ziegler says they worked on setting up the foundation, framing, and shingling. So far this year, they've completed insulation, electrical, plumbing, and they're working on drywalling. Hughes says he didn't think he would have the opportunity to build a house while in high school. There are times when you're sheathing or putting shingles on where it's intense, labor intensive, but it's never really like anybody can do it. Ziegler says the students did most of the work on their own, but specialty trades businesses checked everything to make sure they were up to code, including the state's electrical board. He says the class sparks an interest in the field for some students, but even when it doesn't, Student builders leave with something. But at least they'll be able to maintain their own home when they get to that point, or um, if they've got small projects, they can take those on. The house's construction has come a long way, but there are a few items left on the to-do list, such as painting, adding doors, cabinets, and flooring before it goes up for sale. At Magic City Campus, I'm Crystal Quow reporting for your news leader. The instructor says the house looks like it'll be done before graduation. After it's sold, he says the funds go back to the construction program and they start again. Very interesting.